Hello, happy Monday, and welcome to another edition of my Make It Monday, where each Monday I'm here live um, sharing with you some projects that I'm working on in hopes to inspire you to do something creative as well. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I certainly had a very full weekend. We had um, a class actually on Sunday. Uh, well attended and I trust that all of those who came had a good time making the cards. Um, I do have another um, class this coming Sunday. It's a kit together, meaning um, we'll be working on kits. So feel free to bring uh, your unfinished kits like your paper pumpkin or you can come and select um, from a variety of kits that I have in stock to work on. Those are really fun projects and uh, with lots of opportunity to embellish and, you know, reach the sky, stars type of a project. But it's very easy. It'll be a quick two hours and you'll feel very creative after you're completed. So anyway, so if you're interested in joining me this Sunday, um, be sure to uh, message me and so I can uh, save you a spot. Hi, Lynette. Thanks for jumping in. Good to see you. Hope you had a good class last week. I think it was. You were preparing for that. Um, anyway, so um, let's see. What do I want to say? So I wanted to mention about this class, and I also wanted to mention about our open house, which will be May 25th. It's a Saturday, and it'll be at the Sinahanya Community Center. Details will be forthcoming. Um, but I wanted to make sure that you pencil that in in your planner, your calendar, and I hope you'll join us, okay? So without further ado, let me switch the camera around and share with you what we're creating today. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. So for today's project, I wanted to um, highlight this new stamp set, new stamp bundle. It's a stamp set. It's a photopolymer stamp set. Oops. There. As well as corresponding dies. This is really, really fun um, because what happens is you get to cut these out and then you can put whatever you want in it, right? So not only are you limited to what is in this stamp set, I'm pretty sure you can put anything in there if you want. Anyway, so this is the bundle that I wanted to highlight today. It's one of those sets that we were playing with at On Stage. You don't have this set. Were you at the After Dark stamp party? Maybe you picked another one because I know there were like a citrus set and there was another spotlight set that was offered that evening. So we, I picked this one um, mainly for the possibilities of um, filling these things up. I always like things to, you know, fit. And not only is there the stamp set and the flower dies, there's also a coordinating embossing folder that I just absolutely adore. I love embossing folders. Um, and this particular one is like an eyelet. And today's project, I'll share with you um, something I've done with this. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I loved this project so much during um, On Stage that this will be the card that we will be creating at the open house. It's a really cute and simple card. Um, comes together really quickly. And uh, once you understand the create how you create construct this um i can see you know being more versatile and you can put um, bring in other stamp sets that you have and make quick cards so anyway so so this is um the stamp this is the card that you will make at our open house on may 25th okay really cute and uh, so hope this will entice you to sign up so that is one. So that's one card. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing I wanted to do is, of course, it starts with the note card. And one of, uh, for those of you who have been around, you realize now there is the um, last, the retiring list, right? The last chance product. And uh, so today I wanted to incorporate some of the products that will be retiring in hopes to remind you that those are 
gems in your inventory and um, to not miss out on getting them. And actually, they're greatly discounted. So, so for one of the things that is going to be discontinued is the scalloped contours dies. Okay, this is originally thirty-five dollars, but now it's only twenty-four fifty. And um, so you can the this in itself is worth getting. Okay, so these are the dies, and in particular uh, for today's card. I am going to choose one of the edge. Um, using this die cut edge is a really quick way to um, elevate from just a plain note card like this. I mean, nothing wrong with a note card like this, but sometimes you want to deviate a bit and make it a little bit more interesting. So having an edge um, will do that. And it's simple, right? So what you do is just die cut this and you've got a pretty edge. See? So what I'm going to do next is, and it's a great way to showcase um, a strip of DSP. So again, for those of you who, um, who hate to cut into DSP, this is a really um, easy way to use your DSP, but just a little bit, right? Just a little bit. We're just using a little bit. Okay, so let me go ahead and adhere this onto the card and let's see now the paper that I'm using is also retiring okay the paper comes from the Suttles 6x6 designer series paper and it's originally twelve fifty, but it will be ten dollars right now now until April 30th so this pack is only going to be ten dollars okay great basic patterns um, in the subtle color family so there see already there is an improvement right from a plain card to this this is just an interesting edge here so with this um, embossing folder what I'm gonna do is I am going to die cut a piece of vellum using the decoed edge rectangle tangles. Um, now, another th um, product that's going away is the vellum cardstock. Really sad about that. But um, anyway, so if you enjoy working with vellum, I would encourage you to pick up a pack or two so that you can have a stash of that. So we're going to go ahead and emboss this. And this is how it looks like. Really pretty. And it really adds a nice bit of texture to your card okay so I'm going to glue this on here now because I'm putting something on top of this I know I don't mind having um, the tape show through because um, I know sometimes working with vellum um, that is a challenge as to how do you hide the glue from sh showing okay so let me center this And so through the magic of preparation, I have gone ahead and <clears throat> stamped and die cut this teapot and stamped, colored, and die cut this leaf. So this leaf is actually a very versatile piece in here because amongst all the flowering images, um, having some leaves um, makes it versatile in that this could be a masculine card too if you don't want it to be too flowery. So anyway, so what I'm going to do is I am going to glue that, glue actually glue this in here. So let me do this. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. And with this teapot, I just love the fact that the die cut also cuts out this little hole here. Um, many times you you probably have come across dies that will cut out just the outside and then neglecting the inside. So this is a really nice um, touch for this particular dies. Um, so there. And for the leaf, I'm going to use my um, dimensions. Let me see. Okay, that's about it. Where's my scissors? So 
this card comes together really quickly so um, it's definitely um, a quick and easy card in my book go ahead you know always more dimension right so there whoops and off it goes right there okay so there isn't that pretty so the next thing I wanted to do is I'm going to stamp a greeting. So um, I wanted to bring your attention to another set that is going away, which I am also very sad. It's the Charming Sentiments. So originally it's 23. Now it's going to be 1750. Look at all the greetings, the sentiments that come in the set. Now the best reason why you need to get this set is because it comes with a coordinating die set that cuts out all these greetings. So no more fussy cutting. So let me show you. So I picked, hey there, that's kind of a nice greeting. And then see how the die cut just fits right there. And through the magic of preparation, here we go. Isn't that neat? I just love this set and I love the ability to um, that I don't have to fussy cut even though sometimes I know I don't mind fussy cutting so I'm going to go ahead and put this here let me see where I want it oh I think I might just put it right here and there you go and uh, should I put a ribbon here hmm might not need a ribbon or maybe I need a ribbon here I'm trying to think if we need any more embellishments here hmm what do you think with or without the ribbon I can't quite decide help me decide whether I should put the ribbon here or not um I don't know before this I thought it might be a good idea to put a ribbon but then now I don't think I need it because there's just so much thing so many things going on here so here's a quick and easy little card that you can easily mass produce and put it on the side and when you need it just bring it out and you'll have a nice handmade card no ribbon yeah that's what I'm leaning towards no ribbon because there really is a lot of things going on here but um, yeah and I like the idea of having this this is like a sentiment that's generic so you can say hey there and then come in here and either say thank you or congratulations or happy birthday so yeah so this is something that you can mass produce and um, put it on the side okay so stepping it up a bit I've also done something like this right so if you like the little stool that comes with the set that is possible too isn't that cute like that so anyway so again this die set is going away and um, let me just double check here yeah so normally 35 will be 2450 it's called scalloped contours dies so it comes with all these and it's really a versatile die set that um, I don't think you would um, regret purchasing this set so if you're interested in getting this, let me know and I can order it for you. And also with a sentiment silhouette. See all the greetings that you see here. There is a die cut and it's not only the sentiments. It also has some bonus. Um, I think what they call dingbats. You know, the graphic artists call these dingbats. So yeah. So. Anyway, uh, the the country flowers yes I think that is an excellent idea or even this charming sediments because um, it's very versatile and then th this is the set that when I have my stamp class too that I always bring with me um, in case you know people don't need another sentiment rather than the sentiment that I have already planned so um, very versatile sorry to see it go so grab it while you can at a discount okay so this card and then let me show you some other cards that i've made with this set here's another one i am really liking this eyelet it's just so cute it just adds that 
country look to it, right? So again, this is a card pattern that comes from this original card, okay? You know, the um, using um, a tone on tone on the edges of the card, and then with two elements, and then a, um, a long, a width, you know, a length of sentiment here, right? So what do you think of this? So yeah, so this is a fun card. And this one, what I've done is I just stamped it with um, uh, stays on and then watercolored the flower. And then I also added um, these leaves to just give it a, um, more details to it. And these are part of the dies that you see in this set. See? So you get a lot of stuff. You get, you know, this, this, uh, you get some flowers. Really fun. Okay. Thanks, Lynette. These are all very simple cards, and I wanted to share with you that making cards don't have to be complicated. So, so another card is this one. Okay. This is one of the cards that we made as a make and take at on stage. Um, I love the color combination, not something that I would normally um, think of. Um, so I really appreciate having, you know, the stamping up artists um, provide us with some unique color combinations. Okay. Now, the less you think that these flowers are too cheery for anything somber um, or serious, um, there is a with heartfelt sympathy um, sentiment into the set. And here's um, one of the cards that we made at on stage that um, uses this sentiment. Okay, nice and simple. Um, very easy to color because these are just using blends, the blending brush. And I love this about the image that they've created, that it's easy to, um, what do you call it, combine with the vessel without having to mask it. Because if you look at it, see, it's very easy to, you don't need to mask it. So that's great. And then here's another card that is with the um, sympathy sentiment. This one's using, I think it's some metal paper that we use. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to bring in uh, paper from other suites. Um, sometimes I think people get locked into a particular suite um, and they don't think about using other things. Um, what I like to do is just bring them all together, showing the versatility of uh, stamping out products. So with this one, um, stamped it in um, garden green and used um, blends, alcohol blends, to color it in. Um, this, I'm sad to say, is also retiring. So this ribbon is normally $7, but right now in the month of April, it's six thirty. So another very versatile embellishment that um, I would encourage you to stock up because um, you will use this for sure. It's not going to go to bit waste. So, yeah. So, and this is what I wanted to share with you this Monday. Um, I hope you enjoyed these cards and I hope you are... Um, you enjoy these samples and you are interested in attending our open house and also purchasing this country flowers, okay? Or be sure to grab the scalloped contours um, or these sentiments, okay? Because they are going away April 30th. And once they're gone, they're gone. And then this is the card that we will be making at the open house May 25th. So please make plans to join us. Um, there will be door prizes, refreshments, and make and takes. And there will be samples of um, a lot of the new products that are um, debuting in the new catalog. Um, so it should be a lot of fun. And, you know, and again, May 25th is from 2 to 5 o'clock. Uh, message me if you're interested. Oh, yes, I know. I wish we lived closer to, um, 
but you know, one day, one day we will be able to maybe do something live. I think, huh? That would be fun. I think maybe broadcast the open house live so that everybody can、um, see right and experience the open house. We always have a great time during the open house.、Um, it's just you know gathering with like minded people and、uh, doing something you enjoy.、Um, anyway, okay. So that is it for now. And、um, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me.、Um, Again, I have a kit together this Sunday.、Um, it's a great、um, opportunity for、um, all of you who are new to stamping and you want to kind of dabble, try it out.、Um, starting out with a kit is an excellent idea. If you're looking for um, um, project ideas, the kits are there. There are kits for um, cards, um, kits for、um, party favors. You know, birthday cards, whatever. It runs the a range of、uh, themes, so I'm sure there's one that you will like. Okay, so again, thank you so much for joining me today, and、um, oh, and also next week,、um, next week there may or may not be one of these lives because I am leaving, traveling again. So yes, I've I'm doing quite a bit of traveling and. Next week, I am actually traveling to China, and、uh, so I'm trying to figure out,、um, you know, my scheduling for the postings. And、uh, as you all know about China's firewall, even though I have a VPN, I'm not really sure how accessible I will be. So I really need to plan out my my post. And、uh, anyway, so just in case you don't hear from me, you、uh, you know, know that it's because I'm in China. And、um, hopefully, I will be able to still post something, but、um, I never know. So anyway, okay. Thank you again for joining me. And if you've enjoyed this, please leave a message and let me know where you're watching this from. And for those of you watching this on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. That way, every time I have a video, you'll be notified and you won't miss a video. All right. Thank you. See ya.